What's up? What's going on, Pisces? We're going to do a love reading real quick. Haven't done one in a long time, so let's get into it. This is the I Ching of Love deck. Let's just see what the messages are for Pisces in regards to this situation or whatever's coming in for Pisces in love. What is coming in for Pisces in romance and love? I never do love readings anymore, y'all. So why not? Oh, shoot. one more oh okay first of all we got a lot of angel numbers out here on the table oh my gosh let me chill out <laughs> okay <laughs> y'all first of all we have a lot of angel numbers on the table we got 22 we got 33 okay so what is going on here for pisces in love all right, first of all, I'm hearing and I feel right now the wait is almost over. Like the wait is almost over. We have waiting and it's in the reverse. Okay, card number five, representing change in your life coming in. So some of you guys could have, um, you know, been waiting on love, but not even because it's kind of like you've forgotten about it. You know, with this cup being upside down, it's like your cups have been empty for the most part, Pisces, when it comes to love. So I feel like this waiting energy, it's kind of just like your wait's almost over, but you forgot that you were even waiting. All right. Um, definitely could be some sort of, um, I feel like you don't believe in fairy tale anymore. Like you have put down the fairy tale type of a uh, mind frame. All right, with the dreams here, it's like, that's a childish energy. Or you see it now as like a childish energy. You used to believe in very pure romances. You used to believe in, um, you know, fairy tale type of energy. Some of you guys, hopeless romantics. But I feel like you're, you're being a lot more realistic when it comes to love and romance and connections and such. So this waiting in the reverse is kind of just like, it's a good thing and a bad thing to me because it's like the time has passed, you know, that wait is no longer a true waiting period, but it's also kind of like you have given up the whimsical aspect of love. You're just more so in a in a more real type of energy right now. All right, we have card number 23 and it says the wear and tear of time. All right, so more emphasis on time and waiting and this is also in the reverse so that's what i'm telling y'all like the time aspect is you're at the end of a very long waiting period okay time is definitely an illusion and it's just so funny that you could be somewhere for hours and the time could fly by or you could be somewhere for 10 minutes and it feels like you're there for an hour you know it all depends on your perspective okay so I feel like it's some really weird um, energy going on with the time. Some of us feel like our days are going by so slow. And then some some of us feel like the time is just speeding by, speeding by us, okay? We got 22 here. It's giving me soulmate vibes, all right? It says touching one another. It's definitely giving me intimate vibes as well. Yeah, these two cards definitely are matching in a sense. All right, sexual energy, touching of one another. Very passionate, fire sign type of energy. All right. Um, I see the moon here too. So you guys could have some fantasies that are being portrayed or you used to portray out fantasies with this person or you will be portraying like some sort of fantasy, some sort of... Um, it could be like a dream too, like a sex dream or something like that with the moon energy here. All right. I feel like things are becoming a lot more vivid for you. Whatever you guys are thinking about or fantasizing about, it, it really starts to appear very, very quickly around you or, you know, having that illusion of being quickly because I feel like you've forgotten about something. So, you know, when you forget about it, time just flies by. All right. And then we move on to card number 33 which is deception, okay? So maybe there is some sort of, you know, deception that you guys need to watch out for in regards to love. And this could be someone who 
could be deceiving you about the sexual attraction that they have towards you. All right. So this could be someone who is decept um, deceptive because they want to pursue sex with you and nothing more. All right. But we have harmony, harmony, love and peace. And I feel like this is just your energy, um, Pisces. Wow. Another angel, meth, um, angel number with, with number 11 here. All right, so I'm definitely getting soulmate type of vibes. This is also in the reverse here. So I'm feeling like there could be just a disconnect with someone in the past who you had some sort of sexual relation with. This could be someone who deceived you, okay? This person could be 33 years old or you're 33 years old, okay? Um, or 22, all right? Or you could have known this person for like 11 years, 11 months, okay? Something like that. All right, but I feel like um, I'm going to post some more to clarify, but I'm definitely just getting a twin vibes here. So Gemini energy. All right, and also could be Pisces energy, two fish. Okay, but I definitely think that. Um, hmm. Somebody feels sad about the games that they were playing or that they didn't show you their true authentic self here with deception. All right, this this could be somebody who is very creative, artistic. This person puts like their pain and stuff into their art in some way, shape, or form. All right, you could be hearing like some art or music or something that reminds you of whatever you've been through with this person. All right, but there's definitely a sense of harmonious uh connection all right effortless attraction all right you know when you meet someone and sometimes it's just so awkward like you don't know what to talk about like the chemistry isn't really there you have to explain yourself and repeat yourself over and over again I feel like um you have some sort of connection with someone where it's so effortless like this person just gets you and you felt really really comfortable with this person could have been very early on you felt very physically comfort comfortable with this person so there was like a, a very strong um magnetic or sexual attraction all right i'll pull some everyday tarot oh if i could open this uh deck up maybe i don't need to pull an everyday tarot i have never had problems opening this deck up before in my life oh, okay because it's the wrong way all right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can we clarify this for Pisces? What is this love situation for Pisces watching? Okay. All right, so we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Hierophant, Taurus Vibes, and Page of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn Vibes, okay? So I am feeling here, like I said, there was some sort of separation, okay? It could have been because of the deception here. Somebody also could have stopped working. You see how this page of pentacles in the reverse, it fell right on top of the sex card and touching one another. So I feel like somebody um, gave up, uh, stopped putting in work towards you, maybe became very lazy towards you after either having sex with you, okay? Or getting something that they wanted out of you physically, all right, and now there's like a, it, it's like somebody just dropped all interest or at least the appearance of interest, okay? Could have been, a, I don't wanna say this person was like a, I feel like this person had a high ranking in society, okay? Or, or viewed upon a very highly. So this person could have been a teacher, a lawyer, um, you know, a high business person, a clergy person, a spiritual guidance person. All right. This person was, was looked upon very highly by everyone. Okay. But I feel like you saw the other side of this person, Pisces with the higher finger in the reverse. You saw the, like their, their dark side, or you saw them not living up to who they were supposed to be or who they appear to be, I should say. All right, if that makes sense, you know if it's for you, but I feel like somebody somebody shocked you because you were expecting them to be better, but they weren't. They weren't, okay? And they became lazy. They could have been very um, 
and mature very quickly, all right? They went from very high status, very mature, to completely switching up on you and being very immature, all right? They could have shifted directions very quickly as well and you didn't know. Or because of this behavior, you you shifted your um, expectations, you, sh you shifted your direction that you were headed in. You completely switched up where you were going. Some of you guys could have um, traveled away from this person, relocated to get away from this energy after this um, deception. We have seven of cups here, a lot of illusion. Okay, this person could have seen, could have seen you, Pisces, especially with the sex energy on the table, all this physical attraction here. It's like you were some sort of um, fantasy for this person. All right, and it was kind of like, once they got you, the fantasy wasn't, it's like they didn't know you were a real person, if that makes sense. It's like they treated you just like a fantasy. It's weird. All right. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there was definitely failure here. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Even though there was an attraction and, and soulmate vibes and all that good stuff, it was um, it was a situation that wasn't going to work because there was no, no foundation. Okay, so that's what happened in this love situation here page of um, swords here. You definitely have someone circling around you. could be watching you, stalking you from the outside and just, just trying to figure out a way to send you some sort of message here. Very immature energy. All right. A message of love, Ace of Cups. You were some sort of true love. Queen of Pentacles, they see your worth at the moment. They see your worth here. And the Ace of Wands, they still have this attraction for you physically. They still have a great deal of attraction for you, Pisces. Okay, and they do see your worth and your value and they do see that you have a lot of abundance here. Whatever type of love that you were giving, it was very, very pure. This was a pure love that cannot be replicated. Okay, they could, sure, this person could find some other sort of love, but the love that you were giving them or the attention you were giving them, something you were giving them was very pure and they, they felt like they could really depend and rely on you. All right, Ace of Wands here. They're hopeful. This person is hopeful of, um, I feel like, ugh, I don't want to say this, but they definitely are hoping to, to be with you again physically, intimately. All right, but they're hoping it's it's an opportunity for a new start, a new beginning. These two aces here, um, instead of just being physical with you, they can't deny that they're very sexually attracted to you. But but now they want to bring forth with the Ace of Cups here. They want to bring forth more um, soulmate type of energy, more emotional, more romantic. All right, because they feel the connection, something that they didn't feel before. All right, it's a lot of new beginnings here. You guys have a very solid foundation. Um, mm, five of Pentacles, though, in the world. So I feel like this is definitely a, an old flame, an old lover. All right. With the world card here, this could be something that one of you feels like is completely complete here. Door closed. This could be your energy, Pisces. Door closed. I'm also getting pregnancy here. Somebody may want to be a parent with you okay or they fantasize about this or they look at you on a platform and think about if you were pregnant or i don't know something something like that or if you got them pregnant something okay um uh, five of pentacles here i feel like somebody's just still not over how they were left out in the cold okay somebody walked out closed some sort of cycle and um closed the door on somebody and as a repercussion, you know, there was a lot of hurt feelings there. So these could be your feelings, but um, I feel like the door is closed here. The door is closed. Let's see. I'm going to pull some untold messages of the heart. Let's see if we can get a little bit more insight on how this person feels. All right. What's the truth in this connection? How does this person feel? What's going on here? What's the untold, me the untold message here that Pisces needs to know in regards to this situation? All right. We got three cards here. Let's see. First card is sorry. Wow. Please accept my apology so we can move past this. OK. 
okay we have a letter i will be writing what does it say oh yeah i will be writing you a message and we have personal this isn't about you i'm working through a personal issue very very interesting here okay so somebody could have been going through something very very personal pisces of course i mean it's pretty obvious with the messages here but i feel like be on the be on the lookout for some sort of communication like i said someone is watching you especially if you have some sort of platform here so check your dms check your emails text messages there could be some messages coming in here um of of an apology okay or just a clearing up of the energy all right but definitely i feel like an offer of some sort of new start a refresh a new cycle this is what you're going to be hearing pretty soon all right i'll pull some charms got my little bag of charms here i'm not going to look at them i'm just going to pull whatever comes let's see if we can get some messages um so we have a Libra here. This person could be a Libra. You could be a Libra. Or this is also just about balance, fairness, karma. All right. Some things are, you know, finally equaling out here. All right. We have skull and bone, bones, which to me is like caution a little bit. Um, could also represent like it was a toxic connection. All right. Also could be like transformation here. Um, the music note all right, so you could be thinking about songs in regards to this person or this person trying to send you a message through a song. This is a little girl, I believe. So I don't know. That that could be true with the whole kid thing. Maybe you have a kid with this person or they're thinking about that with you. All right, we have the elephant here. We have a star. I'm getting like make a wish and we have a crown. All right. Definitely getting Queen of Pentacles vibes. So very high regard, regal, royalness. This is how this person um, could feel about you or vice versa. OK, you feel like this person is, you know, a high, a high class, very regal in some sense. All right. But definitely a toxic connection in some way. All right. You guys could share the love of music. You guys could have exchanged music with one another, sent music to one another, um, written songs about one another, okay? Um, yeah. I don't know. I feel like a message is definitely coming, though, from this, from this person. I just feel like this connection was definitely out of whack out of balance it was way more physical than it than it should have been and it was a lack of um communication for one and a lack of honesty all right because it's definitely deception and then seven of cups so somebody just you know really fell in love with the fantasy version of either you pisces or you know just maybe the fantasy of being with someone period i think this whole connection here was just based on fantasy it wasn't really based on reality okay so pisces i truly hope these messages helped you in some way shape or form thank you so much for all your love and all your support i'll talk to you later bye